So. Who are you? I'm Tommy. Tommy Saldor's <laughs> Conservation and Science Podcast. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Tommy. And you've just met Ebony. And we're going to walk the sheep into the woodland paddock. Excellent. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, come on. Let's go. <laughs> Open the gate and come through. A lot of the flock has already left ahead of us. Preventing the fly strike. She got fly strike last year, and she got a little bit again, and I've put cream on her. Oh. Um, it's lavender, tea tree oil, and those kind of things. Come on, girls. So um, I forgot to count because the lambs are up there. These are the fly strike yos that I'm keeping because I still have to give them cream every day. But uh, so I forgot to count how many yos. So if you will roll that stone and close that gate. Come on, girls. Right now or later? When these three, now, when these three are up. There we go. Perfect. So this is the orchard lane or the laneway up to the orchard and you can see the scrub plums are beautifully already turning colors. And then the hawthorn berries are getting really dark. Don't trip me. <laughs> Come on, ladies. Now we got to do a quick head count. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, 30 ladies. Okay, ladies. This is their favorite. You can stay there. Their favorite thing is coming into the orchard. We'll do a second count. You all want... See, I got the magic bucket. So I have to lead them through the gate into the woodland. So, two. Oh, Janie! I'm being squeezed. Come on, girls. If you close that gate. <laughs> I will indeed. Come on, girls. See, they're enjoying the apples. Okay, the magic bucket. Okay, they're gonna come towards you, hopefully. Come on, girls! Gotta undo this. Oh, dear. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't get magic bucket stuff until I open the gate. Hey, girls. Come on. Woo. Come on. 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 Come on, girls.
Okay. Do you mean to stay there and see if all of them came through? They're not coming through because the apples. Yeah, okay. But look, here she's eating the um, uh, Solomon seal. So they're loving some of it. It's coming back. I know. Going the wrong direction. They're going in the wrong direction. Sam's want to join in. One, come on. Ah, you know what? We're just gonna have to leave them because they are liking the apples too much. I don't blame them. No, we'll come up later with the bucket and we'll get them into the woods. So the lovely Tommy is gone. We've completed our interview which uh, will come out on his podcast at some stage. And I've come up. I'm hoping the sheep have had enough apples and will follow me into the woods at the moment. Or when we brought them up here, all they wanted was to eat all the windfalls, which, you know, in retrospect, I should have understood. So we're now going to try and get them to all follow me into the woods. Come on, ladies. Atta girls. Oh, I've got the magic bucket. Come on. Woo. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Oh, bugger. Okay, now I've got to sneak behind them to close the gate. <laughs> close the gate. Are you the only people out there? Come on. I better check to make sure that there's nothing. Okay, loosely. And, okay, no sheep. So they're all in the woods. Ha ha, little bit. You're in the woods now. Good boy. Okay, you're in the woods. It takes two hands to do this. No, that's not gonna work. That's gonna be, sheep are gonna get in and out of that. So I have to do it tight, so it takes two hands. So, the yews are all eating the laurel and the Solomon seal. This is all Solomon seal. So that's, this is um, elder, we're eating the elder. Still fighting over the bucket. Look at her, she's having a bit of elder. That's a bit of spindle. This is a spindle tree. This is the spindle tree here. 
this is how big a spindle gets. Mind you, some of it's de quite dead. It's so old. The spindle would have been planted by my grandfather or my great grandfather. So this is the spindle. So you can see it was uh, coppiced at one stage, but it's slowly dying, which is why I'm always planting more and more and more spindle. It's good for biodiversity. Okay, the bucket's empty. And here, a flock is moving through the woods and browsing. So up there they've got, they're eating brambles, Solomon seal, ground elder, uh, um, what is that called? Cow parsley, etc. They're all going around trying to find the best bits. There's mustard. This tree is a cherry tree that's fallen down. There's nothing in it. So all these sheep are stomping through, browsing the all kinds of things. That's an elder. There is my hedgehog hotel, that big, huge pile. There's hedgehogs coming in and out. Here they are all on the grasses and the embankments. This is where I was long grass, the long grass grazers now. No, there's nothing in there. So they're gonna have a lovely time. They've got a very diverse area to graze and so much diversity to eat right here. There's, this is yarrow, there's a dandelion, this is coxfoot, orchard fog, this is a vetch, all kinds of things for them to eat. That was easy, after I'd let them have apples, they said, okay, we're ready to go now. Happy years. My favorite autumn wildflowers is this devil's bit scabies. It's in the scabies family. It's called devil's bit. And so I'm really always really pleased whenever I see it. You can see something's already eating its seed heads there, even though they're not ripe. So yeah, it's a wonderful plant. I love having it around. Isn't that right, kitty? <laughs> yes! You beautiful kitty. You beautiful kitty. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? You good pup. And you, you're a good pup too. Good little pup. Okay. I'm going to go back the way I came with the dogs into the woods because the, um, the electric fence, I don't want the dogs to get stung by the electric fence. The only part of the woods they're not allowed in is right there. That is a yew tree. That dark, that is a yew tree. 
and it's deadly poisonous to herbivores. So that area is fenced off, so they can't get in there. This is covered in snowdrops, uh, bluebells, cow parsley, all kinds of things in the spring, daffodils. So I'm just getting the sheep in to do a bit of their grazing. And this is the Hedgehog, Hedgehog Hotel is in here. It's a huge pile and hedgehog paths are all, go into it all around. So these are all the Solomon seals. Anyway, I think the sheep will have a lovely time in here. Back through the woods. It's wonderful seeing some of these funguses. They're so amazing. Look at that. This is such an amazing fungus. Oh, it's not focusing on it. There we go. Look at that. It's like a city in of itself. It's amazing. See, they're all, they're growing up all over the place. Here's one. And there's one. There's, ow. Ow. <laughs> My knee hit something funny. Anyway, these are amazing funguses. Look at those. Yeah. No, don't dig them up. I like them. Look at that. Cities of them all over the place. They're an amazing fungus. That's one of so many different funguses in these woods. More of these funguses here. Look at these. These are dead man's fingers. These tiny ones here. So you can see they look like fingers coming up from the ground. <laughs> so amazing. This is surrounded in those mushrooms, fungus. What's in there? Yeah. Here's another fungus here. It's almost, oop. oh, that's not very helpful. There, look at that one. Ah, uh, ow, ow. <laughs> you don't want me to look at funguses. You want me to pay attention to you. And if I pay attention to the fungus, you're gonna bite me and scratch me until I pay attention to you. Instead of look at that amazing fungus right there. Ow, you're bold, kitty. <laughs> anyway, there's the orchard up there. 